Someone's been busy, hasn't she? I'd like to think I understood the assignment. That you have. And it's still the tip of the iceberg. Have a fantastic opportunity for you. I'm listening. How would you like to try your hand at one of the most unique experiences in WWE? A position where you'll be able to set the agenda, take control of the whole of the WWE Universe, and truly make a mark. And this magical mystery opportunity will let me do all that? Indeed, in the prestigious role of WWE Raw General Manager. Isn't that you? What, are you going on vacation or something? Well, now that you mention it, I may have plans. Aha! But this is fertile ground for you too. Stepping into a WWE authority role, applying your talents to the other side of sports entertainment. Sure, booking may be a balancing act sometimes, but you already know that from your work as co-owner of TBD. I'm not convinced that this offer isn't just because you want a vacation. But nonetheless, I'll do it. Splendid! I can't wait to catch my flight. Um, uh, see you in action. So when do I start? Well, I should start heading to the airport. So, how's now? Seriously? Don't worry, Raw practically GMs itself. Sure, Bianca needs a challenger for Survivor Series. Bailey and Becky have both been bothering me incessantly about their booking, and the suits in Stanford are especially sensitive to ratings right now. But you'll figure it out. All that GMs itself? Are you sure that's it? Yes. Oh, wait. No. Charlotte needs an opponent for tonight. Actually, this is a good way for you to set the tone of how you'll be running Raw. Every match should tell a story, so you just need to decide which story you'd like to tell. Such as? Are you going to choose an up-and-comer like Nikita Lyons to challenge the Queen? Maybe someone she has a lot of history with, like Rhea Ripley. Or maybe you want to dig into Charlotte's past a bit further. She goes way back with Natalia, including the feud that made Charlotte the first woman to hold all major singles titles in WWE. So, what kind of story do you want to tell? Who will you choose to take on Charlotte? Natalia is an OG around here, and I want to reward consistent fans with a match that has some long-term history to it. I'll book her against Charlotte this week. Fantastic choice. Well, good luck to you. I have every confidence. And just a word of advice. Do try to be as neutral as possible as GM. You may find yourself rooting for the talent you put forth. Sometimes even as strongly as if you were in the ring yourself. From Dungeon to Diva to an all-time great. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Natalia! Well, Natalia represents a dynasty of sports entertainment. She mastered the sharpshooter in the heart dungeon, and she's looking to unleash it tonight. Natalia's got tremendous power and aggression. The queen has arrived. Behold! Majesty. And from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair. Hey, if you want to create a legacy in the WWE women's division, then Charlotte Flair is the mountain you have to climb. Yeah, there's no one even close to the amount of accomplishments that Charlotte has. The WWE ring is her unquestioned kingdom. Charlotte will stop you and then leave an imprint of her boot tattooed on your face. 
Highly skilled in every facet. Strength, brawling ability, risk-taking, mind games. No other women's competitor has been so decorated, so revered. Charlotte Flair is ahead of her time. True greatness usually isn't realized until after you've been enshrined in the WWE Hall of Fame. Such is not the case with Charlotte. Just open your eyes and experience the greatness. Charlotte Flair proudly pulls the strings as the puppet master of the women's division and will gladly accept anyone who will bow down. She created her own divine right as the queen and intends to cause great pain and suffering to her opposition. You just can't game plan for this type of brilliance. It's a new era on Raw as the captain helms the ship as temporary general manager. So far, it looks promising. Cap has made one match here, Cole. Let's not give her GM of the year just yet. I agree, Corey. This is a good start, but let's see what else Cap has planned. And she breaks free before a one count. She's really letting her opponent know how much fight she has. Placed into the corner. Paying it back with their own counter. All wrapped up. Picture perfect. Fireman's carry. Uh-oh. Flair retaliating. Hooked up. Shin breaker. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. Made her pay for her mistake. Oh, God, that hurt. Uh-oh. Lifted it. Going corner to corner. And again. That is the kind of move that leaves our jaws on the floor. Unbelievable. That intimidation factor of Charlotte getting a bit challenged there. Natty putting some old school know-how behind that maneuver. Countering the queen. A stalemate of counters. Counter! And now there's an opening. She's into the ring again. And there's a neck breaker. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Focusing on a body part, picking it apart. The arm's as good of a place to focus as any. Close line! Off with their head. Looks under. Let's go behind. Instead, what a German suplex. Oh my, dragon screw. Oh man. Into the ankle. Cover, cover. Gets the shoulder up. Staying in this one. Bam! And Charlotte continuing to execute her game plan. She covers for the pin. Kicks out before the two count. Amazing effort by her. Oh, Charlotte Way Laser. Nasty chop delivered by Charlotte. Natural selection. And that can vanquish Natalia. Cover. She fights her shoulder up before one. How does anyone have this much in them at this point? Does Charlotte now have to resort to an alternative? Do something else to end things? Oh, this is one of the most incredible comebacks that I think I've ever witnessed. This Very awesome. impressive. You're absolutely right, Michael Cole. This is what you call stepping up in the moment. She has no idea where she is right now. Uh-oh. This is not going to be nice. This is going to be nasty. It's all about winning, no matter what it takes. Superplex! She's showing signs of slow. Hoping to end 
it here. This is it. And she breaks the count. Shows that this is still anybody's match at this point. Discus clothesline. Wow, even Uncle Brett would give that a 10 out of 10. The submission specialist, Natalia. Oh, yeah, Natalia. This is a hard family tradition. The sharpshooters applied. Charlotte Flair. Is she going to tap out? Oh, reversal. Oh, got herself out of it. Ah, uh, Charlotte, so impressive, so powerful. Oh, man. Here comes the backpack stunner. She wants to take this one outside the ring, it seems. Oh, that backfired on her. And she slides her back to the mat. Great strength being shown here. Oh. For the win! Two count! She kicks out with force. That is just pure instinct at this point. This superstar mowing their opponent. Look at this! From corner to corner! And again! Treating the torso to yet another attack. Double underhook applied. Butterfly suplex. Oh, this is just flat out punishment. Queen of Hearts looking to finish things off. He's about to do so, Corey, if she can step through. The sharpshooter, Byron. Oh, man. There's nowhere for her to go. This what a win for Natalia. Here is your winner. No. Royalty clashed, but the Queen of Hearts prevailed over Charlotte Flair tonight. You're not here to give me another amulet, are you? No amulets this time. Just praise for your booking as the new GM. Praise? I will accept. I appreciated that you brought attention to a rivalry that was strong, but that might not be top of mind for more recent viewers. You seem to really care about deeper cuts of WWE history. I do, actually. You can reference rivalries from the past without alienating newer members of the WWE universe. In that case, maybe you'd want to help me with something. I never truly got to settle things with my old friend Nikki Cross. We had a few matches after our time tagging with each other, but we have unfinished business. I gotcha. I'll set up a match for the next Raw. I'm not here to fight. Good. I don't want to fight either. Then maybe we can work together on my idea? And what's that? Survivor Series. I know for a fact that not only has Raw not announced a main event, but Regal had nothing in the plans yet. So, 
let's take the bull by the horns and do something truly spectacular. War games. I can't just book a war games match, Shotzi. Why not? Are you GM in name only? No, I mean, I love war games as much as the next person, but it's not a match to be taken lightly. You need a reason. Something that merits putting two teams who want each other's throats inside a double ring cage to battle it out with abandon. Who would even be the captains? I captained my team in NXT and I was excellent. Ah, so this is the classic, my pitch is that I should be in a main event pitch, right? There are rules to booking. Excuse me, but when did Little Miss TBD Rebel, who puts people through tables, become a lawful, good rule follower? Don't you ever just want to smash things for the hell of it anymore? That's not the point. I'm taking my role as GM seriously, Shotzi. It's hot shotting to just announce a War Games match. You sound like a WWE suit. Let's screw the so-called rules. Put yourself in the match against me and we can absolutely destroy each other in that cage. We pick teams, go all out, and millions of people tune in to watch the joyful carnage. The two of us are perfect for war games. You're the captain and I already drive a tank to the ring for crying out loud. You know what, Shotzi? It might not be a terrible idea. Let me think on it. That's all I'm asking for. If I could have a minute. <sighs> what is it, Troy? I honestly don't have time for your tone tonight. I'm trying to manage a show. My tone? I would never use a tone with you. <laughs> I, I think you're doing a great job, top notch. Ha <laughs> ha, very funny. Oh, you're serious. I guess now that I'm the management, you have to suck up to me. I'm not sucking up. I, I think your ideas are genius, boss. I have faith in them, but that doesn't mean I'm not still nervous in this role. But what can I help you with? <sighs> Becky and Bailey, they're being particularly difficult in hounding us to be named Bianca's next challenger at Survivor Series. Ah, I'm sure they snuck into your DMs too, but I'm used to superstars pestering us for opportunities. <laughs> no offense, but this is getting out of hand. How do you want me to handle it? Why don't we just have Becky and Bailey face each other for the title opportunity? It'll be a great match and solve our problem. Great suggestion, boss. I'll set it up. Wow, you really know your stuff. <laughs> I could get used to this version of you, Troy. Here comes Five Feet of Fury. And she's got backup. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Columbus, Ohio, Alexa Bliss. One of the smallest competitors in the women's division, but she matches underrated power with hard hitting, high flying attacks. Lots of titles and main events to back up those claims. We are seconds away from another moment of bliss. Blissful for us, not for her opponent. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for some chaos. And 
from Glasgow, Scotland, Nikki Cross. Multiple tag titles, a Money in the Bank winner, a women's championship reign. There is a definite method to the madness of Nikki. Well, I hope for her sake she's psychologically prepared. Bliss is a master of mind games and manipulation. Friends turn enemies, partners turn foes. Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross have a lot of history together. Our GM Cap continues to give us unexpected and exciting matchups. She's mixing up the formula so far, that's for sure. The hard part is doing it year round, but hey, two weeks down. Oh, gouging the face, that's unnecessary, come on. Oh, that's not right. Look, the most intelligent competitor in a battle knows that there are many roads to victory including the low road, the cover. No early kick out, keeping a loss at bay for now. And Cross gets stonewalled. Well scouted. Well executed arm drag. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Nikki Cross manages the counter. And both athletes showing that they have each other's number. Oh, backbreaker. Alexa Bliss setting up. Oh, wow. Monster set up in the corner. Tornado oh. DDT! Viking DDT. Cutting her off there. Smart strategy. Oh, and she turns it around. Basement drop kick. And Nikki Cross is on the downside of things. Bliss is executing her game plan. What a punch, just tattooed. What a shot. Had it going, but just made one misstep. And she denies Cross. What a shot. Now oh, trampling the opposition. And that move might have been Nikki's kryptonite. Yeah, as Bliss has absolutely no problem turning it on when the time comes. Talk about being bent. Oh, compressed in the corner. What are they going to do next? Ooh! Insult to injury. All five feet of fury on the attack here. Cross is going to have to dig down deep here. Locked in on the shoulder. Focusing on the shoulder like that can be felt all the way to your fingertips. Action leg sweep. Goes into the pin. Two, fends off the three count. Close call, that was almost lights out. Yeah. Pretty drop kick. Nikki Cross has to find a way to get back on offense. I hope she's got a little something extra left in the tank, otherwise she's in trouble. And Nikki Cross is on the downside of things. Looking to create that moment of bliss. Practically never ending blows. Alexa Bliss, DDT! Does that finish Nikki off? Cover! There's two! An emphatic victory! Here is your winner, Alexa Bliss! A triumphant moment for Alexa Bliss. Losing like this would demoralize a normal superstar, but lucky for Nikki, she's far from normal.
come to congratulate me on a successful show. Ah, oh, I was just out back soaking in the success of the Alexa Nikki match. So you didn't see the number one contender match with Becky and Bailey? No, that match practically booked itself. Why? Who won? Who are we putting against Bianca at Survivor Series? We have a problem. Damage control ran in during the match, and at first it looked like maybe a straightforward DQ victory for Becky, but then she got irked and went after them. And technically the bell rang at some point, but with all the fighting that broke out outside the ring, nobody really won. And we still need a challenger for Bianca. If I may make a meager suggestion, Survivor Series is right around the corner. You may just have to step up as GM and make a decision. No, we still have one Raw left before Survivor Series. Let's do a rematch. Becky versus Bailey to determine Bianca's challenger. Do you really think the match will go any differently this time around? I do. Because as much as it pains me to admit it, you're right about one thing. I need to step up as GM. So I'll be serving as special guest referee. A leader in or out of the ring, the captain. The following is a special guest referee match. Please welcome the special guest referee for this match. From indie legend to WWE superstar, Cap is always ready for action. Yeah, this isn't some smoke-filled bingo hall, Saxton. It's WWE. If the so-called captain wants to prove herself here, she's got to do it in the ring. Look out! Here comes the history maker, the man, Becky Lynch. I'll tell you what, you cannot understate what Lynch has meant to sports entertainment and to women everywhere. And the participants, first from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch. Won the first ever women's WrestleMania main event. Went on to have so many classic matches. Lynch is truly at the top of her game. Well, Michael, that's why they call her the man. Is she ready for a competitor like Bailey, who's always in control? She looks like it right now, but we won't know for sure until the bell rings. It's time to welcome a real role model. According to her. And representing damage control from San Jose, California, Bailey. 
you know, with everything Bailey has accomplished, I still wonder why is she just so unpleasant, so hostile all the time? Well, maybe you should just mind your business, Saxton, because you're talking about the first women's Grand Slam champion, the first women's Triple Crown winner. And not only is Bailey physical in the ring, but she can uh, beat you mentally as well. Yeah, Bailey's new attitude was very upsetting for fans who had supported Bailey for years. You include yourself in that group, Saxton, because I find it apropos when Bailey calls you an idiot. She doesn't mean it, does she? Oh, yeah. Well, what a tall task for this woman here tonight, trying to prove she's worthy. Much easier said than done, Cole. We know Becky Lynch is always at the top of her game. Our general manager, the captain, promises that we'll have a number one contender by the end of this match. Will it be Becky Lynch or Bailey? We'll know soon enough. And with Cap as special guest referee, it should be a fair contest. We'll see, Saxton. Maybe the GM wants one over the other. It's nearly impossible not to pick a side. You're such a cynic. I'm a realist. Oh, face first with a waistlock takedown. And there's that ego on display from Becky Lynch. Ah, this is the closest anyone in the audience will get to the big time. Yeah. And that holds Becky back. Yeah. She's taking things to ringside. Still counting, close to calling it. Hurry back in. Here's the pump handle. Suplex launched. Bailey not quite taking charge of the situation right now, despite her game plan. Yeah, as Becky's trademark brashness continues to serve her well in this one. the kind of count you want to see. Official was in the right position at the right time with a perfect view of their shoulders. Boom! Did you hear the impact? Will this be enough? She gets a quick kick out there. And the referee just doing exactly what she's supposed to do. Our official didn't show any favorites with that count. Hooked up. Fisherman suplex! Solid work by our special referee. We saw a proper cadence and position on that. Double underhook. Sit out, slam into. She fights her way out of the armbar. The official clearly forgotten her role here tonight. Gentlemen, suplex. Big knee to the midsection. Systematic attack on the arm for Becky. Kick to the gut. They're stomping away. And if the first stomp doesn't send you the message, the follow-up ones definitely will. Her shoulders are down. No contact being made with the ropes, and yet our referee is calling for a rope break. That's awful. Jarring impact. Becky Lynch, the disarm her. Locked in, this will break your arm in a hurry. Can Becky's opponent hang on? Nowhere to And she releases the hold as she feels that enough damage has been done. Should have kept on wrenching. Why show mercy now? Oh my God. Moonsault! You see that height? We might be close to the end. Yeah, things are not looking up for her right now. An unbiased count from our guest referee. With this much at stake, she's taking her officiating duties very seriously. Becky Lynch looking to secure the win. Power with a man a slam. Will that sew this up for Becky? What in the world? And we knew Bailey was stuck. 
covering, but you've got to admit, she showed her toughness with that kick out. And maybe now let Chester revise her game plan because it wasn't enough to keep the competition down. And Bailey's resolve might be wavering here. She's looking for the win. And this one is over. Here is your winner, Becky Lynch. And the man stands victorious here tonight. You have to give credit to Bailey for giving it her all, but Becky Lynch was just too much. Oh, props to Becky Lynch. When the man comes around to collect, someone's catching a beating. And that was too much for Bailey to endure.